human. That are animals that walk on two legs, but they are not human beings. Intelligent, so-called intelligent creatures. They have intellect. They don't have real intelligence. But they're intellectual creatures that walk on two legs, bipedal. They walk like a human being. They have speech. They talk like a human being. They look just like a human being, but they're not a human. And I'm not just trying to dehumanize a class of human beings. I'm telling you factually, definitively, they are not a human being. What makes a human being a human being is that they are truly sentient and have the capacity to feel. A psychopath does not truly have the capacity to feel. They are like a computer program that's running, which is why this image here and image number four is so great. I saw that. I did a search for images that represent a psychopath, and this is the one that embodies it perfectly. It's some sort of a husk, a shell, a wraith that looks somewhat like a human when it puts the mask on, but underneath it's an empty husk or a shell that, that barely even resembles a human being. It's some sort of a shadow, okay? Some empty, degraded husk form that, that has the vague semblance of a human, but is not a human most certainly. And until we can understand psychopaths in that regard, you're not going to make any progress in overcoming their influence in this world. Zero. Get used to the chains of bondage, because that's where you're going to be for a long, 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 long time. Until you accept that this condition exists, that it is real, that it is operating around you, and that these beings are not human beings. They are something other than a human being. So let's look at their characteristics, these animals that look human. They're aggressive, callous, and cunning. They are adept, cunning thinkers. They have intellect, cunning intellect, not true intelligence, because true intelligence engages the feminine aspect of the psyche, which is the intuition and the compassion and the creative aspect of intelligence. Holistic intelligence comprises both intellect and the creative generative side of the, the uh, psyche, which these beings do not have. They only have the intellectual side. They have a complete lack, a complete absence of conscience and empathy, which we talked about earlier. No conscience, no ability to feel the repercussions of their behavior toward others. We'll continue with this list of the characteristics of psychopaths right after this break. Stay with us. Talking about the characteristics of psychopaths, let's get right back into it. There, uh, this is slide number five on my images for tonight's show. They're aggressive, callous, and cunning. Very intellectual creatures, but not true holistic intelligent beings, holistically intelligent beings. They have a complete absence of conscience and empathy. They cannot feel the repercussions in their physiology of what they do to others. And when I say that, I mean it literally. Can not. It's not possible for them to feel empathy. As strange as that is for most people who do have that capacity, okay, there are beings in the universe that that is true for. It would be like if you cut off someone's hand, then you cauterized it and sutured it up so they didn't bleed out. They would no longer have a hand. They would no longer have the capacity to grasp something in that hand, in that limb, without some piece of artificial technology. The capacity would no longer be there. That's what a psychopath is like when it comes to the ability to feel. They're very adept at manipulating other people, especially emotional manipulation. Real good at, at getting to people through their emotions, not the psychopath's emotions, through the, the people they're manipulating, through their emotions. They can play up to other people's emotions to then manipulate them and get them to do what they want. They have a strong willingness to just take whatever they want and do whatever they please, and it doesn't make a difference who is hurt or wronged. They don't care about right or wrong. It's meaningless to them. They're meaningless ideas to them. That's all right and wrong are. It has nothing to do with natural law. They don't care that natural law exists. They don't care about the repercussions of breaking it. They just want to do whatever they want, take whatever they want. Whoever is wronged, is, it's meaningless to them. They're an animal. It's not a human being, folks. It's an animal. It's a pure animalistic consciousness embodied in human form. That's what you have to understand that a psychopath is. 
and get streetwise about this. We need to get streetwise about this. Because these beings are out there among us, feeding off of us. And you know what? People are still in denial of their existence. Still in denial, because they don't want to believe that's the world they live in. Psychopaths have a deceptive ability to appear, appear outwardly benevolent, and that's because they're really good at feigning normal human emotions. They have a deceptive ability to behave in superficially charming ways to, ways to hide purely selfish motives. They have a willingness to use intimidation and violence to control others in order to satisfy their own needs. They have a willingness to intentionally violate the basic inherent human rights of others. Again, as I said, natural law rights are meaningless to these animals. They have a complete absence of any sense of guilt or remorse. So it doesn't matter who's hurt. They're not going to feel guilt. They're not going to feel remorse. They ha don't have the capacity to feel guilt or remorse. It isn't that they don't want to feel it. They can't feel it. There's a reason because their limbic brain is not doesn't work the same way as a normally functioning human's limbic system in the brain, the midbrain. The mammalian brain is broken in a psychopath. And there's a reason it's broken, which we're going to get to. Psychopaths have uh they rationalize their own immoral behavior. So rationalization's a big thing. Oh, I'm not really wrong for doing this. There, there's a re I have a right to do this. I, I can rationalize it and come up with a reason that it's okay that I just did that harmful behavior. And they'll attempt to lay blame on other people for their own conduct. That's another big characteristic of a psychopath, blaming other people when in fact their own behavior was harmful. They will um, uh, outright deny their own wrongdoing. So willful denial of truth is a big thing in psychopaths. They have total contempt toward the feelings and desires of their fellow beings. What you want, justice, truth, right, uh, n nobody violating your natural rights, that's meaningless to a psychopath. They don't care. They don't care. You know, if that's two words that sum up this whole list, don't care. That's what a psychopath is. A being that does not care, doesn't have the capacity to care or feel, period. They will... Um, pathologically lie, say anything without any concern for truth in order to advance their own hidden agenda. They, here's key, a key point of their uh, personality trait and char traits and characteristics. They have a very cunning, manipulative ability to fake, to feign normal human emotions and empathy. They watch other people and their behaviors and, th and they observe how they behave in certain conditions. Like when a loved one dies and they'll observe genuine emotional sadness and then they'll mimic it like an actor. They will step into that role because they know they're different than other people. They know from a very, very young age that they're not normal human beings, that they're an animal that looks like a human but is not one. And so they have developed this very deceptive ability to act, to play act. You know, wa watch the TV show Dexter. It's a good example of a secondary psychopath who's play acting and trying to pretend like he feels the same thing, thing that a, human, a regular human being feels. While Dexter in that series is not a, a primary psychopath, he was created as a secondary psychopath through a, at a very young traumatic experience that he underwent. That doesn't mean a primary psychopathy does not exist. There are beings who are born like this, and it is a genetic condition that is a result of a... Uh, 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 deformation, a, uh, a mechanism that is not working properly in the human genome, in our genomic code, the code that makes the human species what it is. There are things in that code that are not working right, that are not functioning right. We have anomalies, genetic anomalies in our actual genomic code. Over 4,000 genetic anomalies, genetic deformations that express as different types of diseases, different types of disorders, physically and mentally and psychologically. So um, 
Psychopaths also have a completely distorted sense of the consequences of their actions. They don't see the consequences. They just act in the moment like an animal. They don't look at the long-term consequences. So you say, psychopaths are destroying the world that they themselves have to live in. Well, that doesn't compute to them. It doesn't matter. They're living fully in instinct because they're an animal without a true ability to care about what they're doing in the present moment that may affect the future, even if it affects their ability to live in the future. That's what you have to understand that a psychopath behaves like. It's so unfathomable to the normally functioning human being that the mind, the soul could be that broken that the, 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 the normal mind often wants to reject it and say, my God, how could a creature such as, such as this exist? You're talking about the proverbial vampire, the proverbial demon. Yes, exactly. Now you're getting closer to, the, to an understanding, if you think of it in those terms, of what a true psychopath is. They have a total failure to accept any personal responsibility for their own socially irresponsible ways. They will not accept responsibility. So forget trying to say, you're responsible for this, you caused this, you were the causal factor of this, doesn't matter. They don't care. And they have a strong belief that they will never be brought to justice for their criminal behavior. Totally smug. Arrogance. You'll never beat me. You'll never take me down. I'm the top of the pecking order. I'm the top of the food chain. I deserve to be in the position that I'm in, and I'll be there forever. That's what they think. That's what they think. Let me tell you something, folks. Their reign is not going to last forever. What I want to talk about in the next section is the origin of this condition. So stay with us. We have to break on through in our understanding of the truth. And what will lie on the other side of that breakthrough is true freedom. If we are willing to go all the way in that truth and